Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this awesome film burn effect. So let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Cameron with Motion Science and I'm super happy to have you with me here today as I show you how to create this really cool film burn effect. Uh, I saw this online, I got really inspired by it, so I thought I'd try to recreate something like it. And that's what we're gonna do today. Before we get started, I do wanna remind you I have a free PDF guide over at motionscience.tv slash guide. It's my organic guide to motion, cinematic motion design, and it's awesome. It's chock full of tips and tricks for workflows that I use in my own work. So if you wanna create cinematic motion design like you see in my work, definitely go over and check it out, download it. It's absolutely free, motionscience.tv slash guide. Let's jump into After Effects. Let me show you how we're gonna create this. So first things first, I have a comp set up here. It's just a 1920 by 1080 comp, uh, eight seconds long, that doesn't really matter. What I have here is a photo that I downloaded uh, from a stock site. I rotated it so it's vertical and it's just got a film strip edge and some skateboards in the middle with some shoes. And then over the top of that, I put some type that just says film burn. That's just to get more of an effect that I'm looking for so we can see the type kind of squash and stretch and things like that. Also, I parented the type by clicking right here and dragging it to the skateboard. And then to the skateboard, if I hit P for position, I separated these uh, two position keyframes. So let me show you how I did that. So if I click right here, you're gonna see this is how it looks normally. If I right click and say separate dimensions, then I have X and Y. And then under Y, I can alter option click and I can type in wiggle parentheses 18 comma three. And what this tells After Effects is 18 times per second, I want the film strip to move up and down by three pixels. So by doing that, we get this little tiny jump like we see here, like a, like a film projector would look like, right? It's got the little movement up and down. So that's all that is. Very simple. Next, if I take this skateboard into a pre-comp, there we go, and let's call this uh, Film Burn. Click OK. And then we're gonna bring in some film footage I have here from a stock site, which is some burn footage. So we'll scale this down to about 52%. And if I end my composition, well, let's do about three seconds. So it in for in bracket. And you can see this is what the footage looks like. It's keyed over green. So we need to remove the green. So that's the first step. So I'll go up here to effect, keying, and we'll select key light. And we'll take this dropper here and select the green. And you can see immediately it's keyed over the skateboard image. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tell the Skateboard, we're gonna put the skateboard right on top here and we're gonna tell it to track mat the film burn footage. And we're also gonna set the mode to screen. You're gonna see here what happens is as the film burn goes across the screen, it wipes out our footage inside of it. Let's also go ahead and turn our film burn footage back on so we can see it there. So now you can see it's getting a little bit more interesting, right? Let's go ahead and duplicate the film burn below it. And to this footage, we are going to apply the effect Sapphire S Glow. Now you can use any glow you want here. This is just a personal preference of mine. And this is a preset that I've added just so I can get some glowing edges here. So the reason I did this with the glow is to give this edge a little bit of burn feeling to it. Like it's burning the edge of it, right? And you can see it right through here. If I turn this off, it just looks more like a black edge and just adding this other layer below it with a glow gives it a little bit of a burn to it. So that's looking awesome. And we're also gonna go ahead and set the top layer to screen. So again, it's burning through just a little bit more there. So that's with screen and this is normal. So you can see it just creates a little bit more of a light burn look to it. Awesome. Now here comes the fun part. Here's the part where it makes it look like the film is actually burning. What we need to do is we need to select our skateboard pre-comp and we're gonna go up to effect, distort, liquefy. 
And we're gonna select this first brush here, open up tool options, and we're gonna increase the size here all the way to 600. And then we're just gonna start dragging and liquefying the image below. So I'm gonna kind of speed through this, but you can see it's just click and drag, click and drag. And I'm moving it all to the left because the, the burn is moving up and to the left. Then I'm gonna open up the liquefy distortion percentage. I'm gonna crank this up to about 125, set a keyframe and move back here somewhere in here, around 19, set this down to zero. And let's go ahead and ease in. And we'll go ahead and also ease out. So if I skip through this, you can see how it's starting to warp and create this film burning effect. So let's go ahead and preview this. And here's what the preview looks like. And you can really see that warp just really sells the effect here. We can take this even a step further um, by adding a camera. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a camera here. We're gonna make these layers 3D and layer new camera. And we're gonna make it one node, hit P for position, set a keyframe, move forward one frame, and we're gonna move it forward just like that. And I'll just go ahead and zoom in here so you can see this. So right now it just, it pops in just like we see here. We're gonna make this a hold keyframe. So we'll toggle hold keyframe. And we're gonna move forward. And at this point, we're just gonna make it kind of slide to the side. So if we preview this, pops in and then it kind of moves, pops to the right. And then we can do one more thing to finish this off. We're gonna bring in this light leak we have here. We're gonna set it to screen. And we're gonna go to effect, color correction, CC toner, which I absolutely love. We're gonna change the mid-tone to a yellow. And let's play it back. And there we go, there is our film burn effect. The light leak that happens, I timed it originally so that it happens right, pops in right here, and then that's where the camera pops in. So it kind of also helps to kind of sell that effect and then burn through. So there is our film burn effect, super easy to create in After Effects. Uh, if you like what you see here, I highly encourage you to download my free PDF guide over at motionscience.tv guide. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.